I'm recording this video on a MacBook Pro M2 Pro chip, uh, 14 inch, and I'm going to demonstrate the application called Crossover. And to show you how I am able to run Steam on that for gaming, and in particular, a game I enjoy playing from time to time is Grand Theft Auto 5. So recently um, a Crossover had a version called Crossover 22 and today or this evening um, I've been made aware of an update to Crossover to Crossover 23 and uh, that has allowed me to overcome a bug that existed which, which prevented me from loading or playing GTA 5 very recently. Um, so here I'm demonstrating that I have access now again to GTA 5 on a MacBook Pro M2 chip without any issues. Um, I'm also going to show you once once it loads up the settings, the, the resolution and the graphics settings on which I'm running the game at. I've also got connected separately a controller. So I have a Xbox, Xbox One controller connected to this MacBook. So I'm able to play GTA 5 using a separate wireless controller, which is connected via Bluetooth. So I'm just going to go into settings here and I'll bring you down to graphics and you can see here that I'm on DirectX version 11. There's only three options. There's DirectX 10, DirectX 10.1 and DirectX 11. There is no 12 on this. Um, and from that then you'll see the settings that I'm using. So full screen, that's the resolution um, and then all the various different settings down here which which are which can be amended but they're as you can see from here they're set relatively high um, I'm sure I could push this up even further uh, but previously to the update from crossover 22 to 23 when I was operating within the last couple of weeks using crossover 22 I was only able to play GTA 5 using direct X 10 settings but since the update to Crossover 23, I'm now able to use the DirectX 11 version. So I've only uh, started using that in the last uh, in the last hour. So I'll bring you into the game so you can see the gameplay as it runs. I'm going to go into the online story mode. Sorry, the online GTA online mode. I did a, a benchmarking test um, with the DirectX 11 settings and it's running at around 90 to 110 uh, frames, per, uh, frames per second. The wait time for entering online is nothing to do with the load up or the computer. It's simply to, to do with the connection to the online server with GTA. Sometimes it works fairly instantly. Uh, how we are now. So as you can see, I can run around. You can see everything works fine. Just take the car here and bring you and show you the experience of driving the vehicle. 
good shading um, as you can see and reflections on the car gameplay appears to be very smooth although my driving skills are very smooth water to the beach so you can see uh, the reflections of water yeah. I'll kill myself in the meantime So I'm just going to make my way over to the water so you can see the um, water reflection effects. Oh no, I beg my pardon. Wow. Like I'm sorry, okay? Watch where you're going, asshole. I knew it was you. I finally got one of those phones that shows the number of you calling. That's it. Hope you like the video and I give you an insight into using uh, or doing gaming online, GTA 5 online through a MacBook Pro with an M2 chip without any issues. Um, and using a wireless controller.